It's almost your birthday. No. Yes, it is. No. It's almost your birthday. No. <laughs> You're rude. Super outgoing. She's a people person, not shy at all whatsoever. Um, she's super smart. Very, very big for her age. She's four and she wears size seven, eight clothes. And she's always just been huge for her age. Very smart. In February of 2021, Rebecca noticed some changes in her four-year-old daughter, Bristol. Her behavior changed, just completely flipped with her aggression, her impulsiveness. She was doing things she wasn't supposed to be doing. She was mean to her younger siblings, which is not her at all. And as soon as that happened, right after that, she started having headaches, which would make her go lay down for hours at a time, which is not her. She doesn't like to just lay around. She's a go-go-go type of person. And then it led to her vomiting. And then from there, I brought her to the emergency department and then went to her pediatric doctor. And they instantly saw swelling behind her optic nerves, behind her right eye. And it just, after that, we went straight to Dartmouth. When you were all day high, the sky. Gold who stole you fire from down below. If you're looking at me. First one in, they said that the mass in her, in the optic nerve, was out of stage four. So we are right at the time of getting it removed and getting her on treatments and stuff like that. So any later than what was when we brought her in would have been too late to have it removed. After the tumor was removed, a biopsy was performed, and two weeks later the family learned that she had a rare and aggressive form of glenoma cancer. Um, I'd say... Her treatment seems to be working very well with her. She hasn't had any side effects besides being a little more tired than usual. But other than that, she will keep her hair with this form and she won't need to do no port, ports or anything like that. It'll just continue to be oral as long as it's working. And it, But if it doesn't, doesn't keep working, then she will have to do the port chemo. She'll, they said that she'll have it for life. It's never going to just go away. Maybe her treatments will change or in such things, but it will always be in her body. You would never, ever imagine that your daughter, your four-year-old daughter, would be going through something like this and would have to go through this for her whole entire life. She can never play sports. She can never, potentially never even go on another playground. Oh, when you were a little girl.